Good day. This is Barnman. And Delio 77. And we welcome you back to Quest Calendars 2024, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Cora came face to face with a humongous centipede named King Rathax. And what did Cora say to King Rathax? She threatened him. That she did. And now it appears she has to battle him. Hmm. Rathax crawls to you with uncanny speed and thrusts his staff toward you. A glow of magical energy builds up and the air crackles as a bolt of green lightning shoots in your direction. I think we want to use our warding ointment. Let's add a plus one to our defense for the day. So roll the wording ointment. This will be for the whole page. Plus three. So I'm going to write it over here that we have a plus seven against King Rathax. So go ahead and roll that. Uh, that is a six. Yeah, it's plus seven. Thirteen. The green bolt comes shooting across the cavern. Cora puts up her shield and deflects the green bolt into the wall. Ow. Cora uses her cutlass to strike at King Rathex. Uh, that's an 18 plus 4, so 22. The attack comes swiftly down on his staff arm, almost knocks the staff out of his hands? Uh, tentacles? No, not tentacles. Are legs? His little legs, I suppose. And she does how much damage? Big hit. Six. Six is a good damage. He is looking angry, though. He swipes up the end of his staff right at Cora's head. Thirteen plus plus seven. Right at Cora's head. Cora, with her acrobatic prowess, leaps backwards into the air. The staff misses Cora. She then whips out her cutlass, striking down on his head, and... 10 plus 4, 14. Almost hits him in the head, but he deflects it with the staff. Then he leans over Cora, starts to roar at her, and is going to chomp down with his mandibles. Uh, 10 plus 7. Does a good snap, but Cora is able to flinch back and forth, missing her. She then, while she's right underneath him, swipes up with her cutlass. 11 plus 4, that would be a 15. The cutlass hits him straight in the midsection and does... 4 damage. He is not looking so good. He staggers back a little bit against the pillar, takes his staff, and shoots another green bolt at her. The green bolt comes shooting toward her, but she is able to deflect that with her shield. Her shield is looking a little weak, though. I think she might have to reinforce it later. Yeah. Cora then does what? Uh, attack. With a 12 plus 4, that would be 16. She then swipes her cutlass at him and it's a direct hit. He is looking terrible. Staggering about, he then feebly swings his staff at Cora. How does she defend? She does not defend. It is a direct hit and does a total of 1d4. Damage. A four. four. It is a jarring hit. Knocks her backwards into the wall. She suffers a total of four damage. She is down to eight. Cora, though, swipes. Oh, no. It's a natural one. That is No, we don't have lucky. That is a terrible, terrible result. She actually falls backwards onto the ground. King Rathex then wields up with about 50 of his legs and swipes at her. 
17 totally misses all of the hits. He swings around. He's super dizzy. She lunges at him, hits him straight on, and does a total of, I think it's that one, D D10. Six. six damage. That is so much damage. And with six damage on King Rathex, he looks at Korra, staring deep into her eyes. And with an eerie resilience, Rathex dismisses the wounds you've inflicted upon him. He channels dark energy through his staff, mending his body until not a trace of injury remains. A malevolent smirk curls upon his lips as he casts a mocking gaze upon you. The cavern echoes with his laughter as he turns his back on you, his dark silhouette disappearing into the tunnel's depths. And Rathex leaves her. Wow, coward. And he just totally healed himself, though. Yeah. But I'm thinking she's going to have to fight him again. Definitely. Whew, that was some battle. Yeah. Look at his eyes. They're very glowing. Do you think he shoots green bolts from his eyes as well? Probably not. I guess we'll find out in the future next time she meets King Rathax. With that, we hope to see you tomorrow. Yeah. Bye.